Town. I like this part right there. Come on. something to it. Just encourage you. We're going to take you to church later. Let's go! We'll keep marching by until the victory is won. To all my brothers out there. Hold your head up, brother, till the victory is won. To all my sisters in the struggle. Keep believing, sister, till the victory is won. Till that day. Till that day. Hey! Let us march on. Take that victory. Till victory. for joining us for the MP Showcase 2020 After 5 edition. You're joining us for a virtual evening of celebration. Yep, it's a celebration of the arts. A chance for us to reflect on how the arts have made a difference in the lives of our young people and in our prospective communities. I am Billy B.J. Williams, the founder, CEO, and artistic director of Musical Paintbrush Incorporated. We're bringing back some of our most treasured performers this year. We invite you to sit back, relax, and groove with us as we ring in the new year with the very energetic sounds of the Marching Cobras of New York, MP Showcase Alumni All-Stars, MP After School Program, Musical Paintbrush Repertory Theater, and our very own local and national recording artists. Let's kick tonight's show off with gospel music artist, Valencia Brown. Spirit, winter, spring, summer. 
my mama noticed funny things I did, like shooting puppies with a BB gun. I poisoned guppies, and when I was done, I found a pussy cat and bashed in his head. That's what my mama said. What did she say? She said, my boy, I think someday you'll find a way to make your natural tendencies pay. You'll be a dentist. You have a talent for causing things pain. Some be a dentist. People will pay you to be inhumane. Your temperament's wrong for the priesthood. And teaching will suit you still less. Some be a dentist. You'll be a success. Is girls the leader of the class? And he'll never ever be any good. Who wants their teeth done by a monkey's decide? Oh, that hurts. I'm not numb. Oh, shut up. Open wide. Here I come. I am your dentist. And I enjoy the career that I picked. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, When I start extracting those molars, you girls will be screaming like holy rollers. And though it may cause my patients to stress, somewhere in heaven above me, I know that my mama's proud of me. Cause I'm a dentist and a success. <laughs> say ah, uh, ah. Uh, say ah, uh, ah. Uh, say ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> now spit. out in the silence searching for a heart that will love him longing for a child that will give him their all give it all he wants it all and there's a god that walks over the earth he's searching for a heart that is desperate and longing for a child that will give him their all give it all wants it all and he says love me love me with your whole heart he wants it all today serve me serve me with your life now he wants it all today bow down let go of your idols he wants it all today he wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all. And there's a God that walks over the earth. He's searching for a heart that is desperate. He's longing for a child that will give him their all. Give it all. He wants it all. And he says, love me. Love me.
silence Searching for a heart that will love him Long for a child that will give him their own Give it all He wants it all The arts have offended many individuals in various ways including in the areas of the visual arts. Here to tell his own story in his own words as a visual artist, please welcome our very own Mr. Brad J. Madison, digital artist. My name is uh, Brad Madison, and I am a 2D slash 3D artist for a military defense company here in San Diego, California. And the way the arts have influenced my life and influenced my career has been amazing. Uh, my backstory is I come from a single parent household. Uh, my mother raised me and my brother. And uh, to be honest, I've never been an, an athletic guy. I can't dribble a ball to save my life. I'm, I'm not a football player, never have been, never been in sports at all. And so I didn't, I never fit the, uh, the mold of, you know, a black male athlete, but I always had one thing uh, that kept me grounded, and that was the arts. Uh, as I said, uh, I come from a single parent household, so my father wasn't there, and uh, in order to keep me out of trouble and keep me out of the streets as well, I always had, you know, cartoons and art and, and drawing that that kept me uh, focused and, and to draw my attention and to put my energy into it. Uh, and uh, I'm grateful, very grateful that I found the arts. And uh, I got very influenced by video games at a young age and Disney cartoons and allowed me to express myself in a different way. And uh, the arts actually allowed me to, they gave me a chance to even go to college because I wasn't even sure I'd be able to go to college because I also wasn't the smartest person in the world. But uh, my talent was very good, and it was good enough to get me a portfolio scholarship to get into art college. And with the art college, I was able to get uh, a bachelor's degree, as you can see over there, actually. Got my bachelor's degree. And then, uh, and then after I got my bachelor's degree in illustration, which was drawing, and, and what you see there in the side, I went back and got a master's degree and uh, interactive design and game development, which was uh, doing 3D art, which is over here. And as you can see, it allowed me to uh, transition that master's degree into learning more about 3D art. And, 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 and it got me a job at a very great aerospace company where I was able to do uh, uh, 3D mock-ups of the interiors for private jets. And uh, it allowed me to express myself digitally uh, and create a career out of that. And now, what I do now is I do a lot of 2D and 3D artwork for a military defense company. And so if I didn't have the arts, uh, there was no way it would be possible. And I'm very grateful for, for God blessing me with the talent. And I'm, I'm very grateful to share my story and, and to hopefully influence a new generation to the way I was influenced by the arts. And we gotta keep the arts alive. We gotta keep doing what we can to make sure that young children like myself who aren't athletic, who aren't, you know, very, very book smart, you know, to give them a way to express themselves, to make a bright future for themselves. And I wanna let them know and everybody know that it is possible. If you have a passion for art, whether it's music, dance, drawing, whatever, you got to stay focused, stay, you know, keep, keep doing what you're doing because it will pay off because it has paid off for me. Don't give up. Be true to yourself. Be true to your passion. Keep working on it every single day and be blessed. Bye bye.
she like the way I'm flowing, and she like the way I'm going, and she like the way I do this, and she like the way I do that. Hold on, she like the way I shine because she always on my mind. She like the way I screw it, and she like the way I do it, and she like the way I move it. Yeah, let's get into it. I said she like the way.
thought she was the best thing that happened to me It was way back when we was young and free Didn't have to worry about too much Don't know why we always at the fuss Oh, we end up falling out of love Cause we just oh, yeah, wasn't strong enough I'm so sorry but I'm broken That's why you're gone cause I lost my focus I know you noticed I'm a different person and I know it's too late Just let me know that you're straight I blame you for my past I told you this and that I was driven by my insecurity didn't mean to hurt you on purpose Should've got rid of my childish ways My childish ways Have you ever fell in love with that special one? Uh, and you thought it had no ending Well, you got to let go of us tumbling down And your happiness is about to end oh, yeah. Have you ever fell in love with that special one? Uh, Without them life would have no meaning Young love, don't worry about that, get your money up Most of these girls, yeah, they only judge They settle down for a bum and a So I'm a cool love on love I'm wishing you the best and nothing less I just want you to be happy Look, I'm not the type of guy who's gonna hold you till you wanna die If you love, you gotta let it fly Promise you'll never lie Though I see me hurt and cry But I know he's gonna tell a lie If you don't want me, why you try? You made my heart do suicide But I'm the one who apologized I Told you I'd rather die then they see you kissing all up on another guy Yeah, time flies You said you were willing to stay, but you're trying to leave What you want me to do, get on my knees Begging you, please don't leave me Trying to be the bigger man And then stand up on my brother's side Can't be holding grudges cause you only get one chance To do it right Have you ever fell in love with that special one? And you thought it had no ending Without them life would have no meaning When you're out of luck, you're stumbling down Yes, love will be a memory Lift up your head, wash off that mascara Here, take my Kleenex, wipe that lipstick away Show me your face, clean as the morning I know things were bad, but now they're okay Suddenly Seymour is standing Beside you, you don't need no makeup, don't have to pretend. Suddenly, Seymour is here to provide you with sweet understanding. Seymour's your friend.
the bad times are clean washed away. Even they stand at us, still change and frightening. For losers like I think it's so hard to say. Suddenly see, suddenly see, keep purifying, keep purifying. And I just want to share a little bit um, with you tonight about why art has been important in my life and why I think art is very important for children. Um, I have drawn and been creative since I can remember, and um, art has gotten me through some pretty tough times. And I definitely believe that when we allow kids to tap into their um, creative side, sometimes they end up you know, going places that we never could have imagined. Um, so just a, a quick story, you know, just kind of telling you about my background. So I always was creative um, all throughout high school. I took AP art, um, and I knew I wanted to go to college for art. Um, got a fine arts degree, an associate's degree. And as I, you know, it was time to select what I was going to receive my bachelor's in, it was suggested that I choose something that would, you know, be better as far as a, a long-term career. So I listened to what other people had to say, and I changed my major from art to English. So this is my 19th year teaching, because um, there's really not much you can do with an English degree. So I've been teaching for the last 19 years, and don't get me wrong, I have definitely enjoyed it, but I, I regret not staying on the path and selecting art. I could have always, you know, um, got my degree in art and then been an art teacher. But I always tell my students, make sure that when you're making these life-changing decisions, that you are making them based on what's in your heart which you know you want to pursue and what you're good at. So I wish I could go back and um, have pursued art, but I didn't, but I'm back now. So I've done a full circle, come full circle, and I own my own company, and I um, currently do um, paint and sips. I do painting workshops, different um, activities and events with kids and seniors. I do commission art pieces. Here's a couple of my pieces you can see in the background. But to me, art is fulfilling and um I'm still able to reach out and I'm able to touch people. So during this um, time of the pandemic, art has definitely been beneficial to me. It has helped me through some of the depression and changes and things that have happened um, with the pandemic, you know, losing loved ones um, and just kind of coping and dealing with what our new norm has been. And I've seen it with my students also. Art is definitely a great outlet for everybody. I've done after school programs and I've also, um, done a couple camps and you can just see how the kids are just excited that they get to express themselves through music, through visual arts, through acting, dancing, all those things can definitely be an outlet. So if you are a young person and you're watching this right now and you love being creative and you love art, I definitely encourage you to um, pursue your dreams. Um, you definitely want to be trained so I encourage you to go to college and you know focus on whatever area of art that you like. And there's so many different types of jobs, and you can even be like me and create your own job. Um, so parents, if you have a student who is showing interest in art, definitely let them kind of find their way and blossom. Um, they can always double major. Maybe they major in art and business at the same time. Um, but definitely allow them to fully develop their artistic ability because it's very, very important. Okay, thank you so much. That's all I have to say. I hope that everyone um, has an awesome, you know, last couple hours of 2020. We're looking forward to big things in 2021. I hope that everyone stays safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you later. As we all know, the world was struck with an unfortunate series of circumstances this year. 
One extreme situation was that of a global pandemic. This caused us to inevitably miss our prospective physical homecoming celebrations. Most prominent of those is the HBCU homecoming experience, which is irreplaceable. This year, we want to celebrate that rich tradition with the marching band experience. Performing live from New York, please welcome the Marching Cobras of NYC. our 2020 MP showcase and celebration of the arts. Thank you so much for joining us. And as always, remember that all the world's a stage. Happy New Year, and we wish you a safe and healthy 2021. Good night from all of us at Musical Paintbrush Incorporated.